Hi, my name is Andrew Goodwin, and I'm going to show you how to export multiple stems at the same time with only one reverb. All you've got to do is solo defeat all your effects tracks like that. And I'll show you how to do it quickly too. You know, select the stems that you want to export. You come into the export window. You have multiple clicked. Next to effects, you need to select master, group, and sends, and that will make sure that the full signal path gets exported, including the effects channels for that particular stem. Then all you do is add them to the job key here. I did a test where I put like a crazy chorus effect on one of the tracks here, and I routed the strings to the reverb, but not to that chorus effect and exported it. And even though the chorus effect was solo defeated, it did not get included on the string stem because the string stem is not being sent to it. So there's no level going to it. So nothing picks up on it. That's not a problem. And then you use the new function in Cubase 11, which is the export queue. So I add those stems to the queue and I just click export at that point and it will export all of them. So originally in Cubase, if you were going to do multi-export, you route your tracks to group tracks, and then this group track has to be routed to a stem track down here that you, it's just another group track that you create. So that's not that bad. The issue is the effect. So if you want this strings group to have reverb on it, you send it to the reverb from this group track right here. So then down here on this reverb, it has to be routed to the string stem for it to actually pick up when it gets exported. So that means that if you want reverb on your brass as well, then you've got to duplicate the same reverb and route that reverb to the brass stem. And then if you want a reverb on your winds, then you've got to duplicate the reverb again and route it to the winds track. And then each one of these would obviously send to the respective reverb. So that obviously can get to be a lot of reverbs. If you have 10 stems, eight stems, that's at least 10 reverbs. And then oftentimes you're gonna use certain reverbs for special effects or maybe certain tracks you want, you know, a short reverb and a long haul reverb on them to kind of give a different effect. So you could end up with 15 or 20 reverbs. That's a lot of load on your CPU. Maybe you're working on a laptop or you've got a slower computer and you've written a big track and you're ready to export it. This will allow you to take advantage of multi-export. So that's the traditional method. You come down here and you go export and you would just click export audio right here and they'll all export at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna reset here. In this method, all you've gotta do is take your tracks, route them to your group tracks, do whatever EQ or mastering stuff you want. You send them to whichever effects you want. It doesn't matter, like this one, if I wanted to send it to the reverb track and I also wanted to send it to like a special black hole reverb, I can just go ahead and do that. And then down here, all your effects tracks need to be routed to the stereo out. When I do that, then these just need to be routed to the respective stem, just as in the other method. So the only other thing that I have to do before I export is solo defeat the effects tracks. And the reason is when Cubase goes to do the export job queue function, it goes to whatever track you told it to export, like the strings stem down here, and it's gonna solo that track. And you can see how these tracks are soloed, the groove track that they are sent to is soloed and the stem track that they are sent to is soloed. But you'll notice that the effects tracks right here, even though this track is sending to this reverb and the black hole reverb, neither of them are soloed. And so when I export this, I wouldn't get the reverb on the track. Cubase will move along and say, okay, live cello. Actually, that's a bad example. <laughs> okay, so it will move along and say brass and okay, well, brass has reverb on it, but it's not getting highlighted either. That's what would happen. So what we need to do is solo defeat the effects tracks. I've set up a key command to do this. If you hover over the solo button, you'll see it says solo defeat with alt control click. So if you do that, you'll see that the icon changes and now it's in solo defeat mode. No matter what I solo, this track will never get muted. So if I come down here and I solo the string stem just like Cubase will, you'll see that everything to do with that is soloed and the reverb track is not muted. So when I export 
in this scenario, I will get the reverb plus whatever is on my string stem. So the best way to do this is to set up a project logical editor command. So I've got media type is equal to effects track, what it's gonna do, nothing, and then function select. So if I click apply, you'll see that it selected all of the effects tracks. And then there is a key command that is called solo defeat. So you can go in there and make a macro with that PLE command and solo defeat to do this. It's just that quick. You can kind of add that into your process at the end. Maybe even combine that with opening the export window like that. It's really quick. <laughs> it's awesome. So I'll go through it once again. So we've done that and we're ready to export. We choose the stems that we want. Cubase automatically selects them now. And then we just need to add them to the job queue and then click export. And you'll see here it's exporting the tracks. This is kind of the one of the other main differences though is that this takes a little bit longer on export because it has to, it's essentially like you sitting here and soloing your stems track and clicking export and then waiting and then soloing your live cello track, clicking export and waiting and then your brass and then waiting and then so like that. So if a song normally takes you a minute to export and you have four stems, it will take you four minutes in this case. Trying to route things during my session I think it's a big time saver. Just no matter what I do, I always seem to run into limitations on how many plugins and this kind of gets around a lot of those issues for me. And okay, so you might think that this is a deal breaker waiting longer to export other than the original method, which is faster. But with the original method, you have to fix your routing essentially in your session while you're doing it. So if you have an effect like a, a big drum hit and you're routing it to this black hole reverb right here in the original method, and then you come up with a cool arpeggio sound and, and you want to route it to the black hole reverb as well, then what you would have to do, because obviously the drum sound and the synth sound would be routed to different stems, you would have to come down here during the middle of your writing and duplicate this track. And then you're gonna have to route wherever this is sent to a group track is gonna have to be routed to this reverb and that reverb will then have to be routed to the appropriate stem down here to get that sound in order. So to me, that's a big headache for routing because I seem to always be flipping around and changing things. Like I set up a template, but it's always very organic where if, if I just need it to sound different, I just change it. And that's just how I tend to work. So not being locked into this template of like, oh, well, I can't do that. So I've got to route it here instead. That's just a big headache. And I feel like the only other method would be to go ahead and render in place and then just route that to the stem. You could do that again if you want to change it or you want to go back, you're wasting more time and there would have been a whole render of a track. So really that could end up being five, 10 minutes uh, a queue at least, you know, even if you just do that for like one track per queue. I feel like the time that I save during the session when I'm writing and I'm in flow and just trying to concentrate, I'd way rather take that time and put it at the end of my process where I'm exporting, I'm in logical mode. I don't have to think at that point. I just have to wait a couple extra minutes. I don't have to worry about the, the routing being correct. With this method, you don't have to worry about how your effects tracks are routed. It, they're just, if they go to stereo out, they're good. Nothing's gonna get tangled. All you've gotta be concerned with is your group tracks going to the appropriate stems which you would have set up initially in the first place and then the only other thing is if you add a track that doesn't fit the uh, settings that you have then you have to kind of decide which stem it will go to but once again you don't have to decide which reverb and how to route that it's a lot simpler to me this is the method that i prefer to use right now and like i said it also benefits people who are working on a laptop or a smaller setup and it allows you to use more effects but still get the benefit of multi-export where you can essentially set it up and walk away you know go take a break i feel like that is totally worth it so anyway i hope this helps you guys out and i will see you later